me start by uh, turning those two image layers off. And I'm going to create a mask now, which helps me fix that problem. And the way I'm doing this is with the uh, darkest layer here visible, I'm going to the channels menu. And I'm clicking on those channels individually to see which one gives me the most contrast between the sky and the treetops. Let me just go th through. It's a bit tough here. I guess I'm going to use the blue channel because it gives me the, the, the most even uh, tonal distribution in the sky here. And so this, uh, this one image obviously doesn't have ghosting, right? So you see one snapshot of those uh, treetops, which is comp comparably uh, sharp here. And that's why I'm using that as a mask. And uh, to go on, I'm going to press the control key and click on that channel. And it turns the channel into a selection, which corresponds to the, uh, to the uh, gray scale values uh, of, the, of this channel. And now I am creating a new group on which I am putting that, ma th that a mask that corresponds to the selection. So what I'm essentially doing is I'm turning that channel into a mask. And th the way to do this is to click that create or add layer mask icon here. Now what I want to do is to turn this into a as close to a black and white image as I can by driving the, the, the bright values towards white and the dark values towards black. Okay, And the way to do this is by selecting the mask and hitting Control L on your keyboard. That brings up the levels command. And in the levels command, I'm going to bring those blacks a little bit in to turn them totally black. And I'm going to bring the whites up. Now you're going to, to hit a point where the white eats into those leaves. You can see that when I drag the white point slider m further to the left, you're going to lose, gradually lose those details in the leaves. And I would like to preserve those details. And they are preserved, I think, just about at that point here. So I'm going to press OK. And now I'm going to fix the rest of the mask, still with the mask selected. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to use another technique here. And I'm going to, um, with the brush tool selected here, press D to make white and black your colors. I'm going to use the overlay mode here. Not the normal mode, but the overlay mode. That's important. And then I'm going to dial back the flow value to a very low uh, value here, actually. And what that allows me to do, the overlay mode, uh, when I paint with black on those pixels, the dark tones will, will get darker. When I paint with white, the bright tones will get brighter. And in that way, I'm going to drive the light tones towards white and the, the dark tones towards black. So starting with white, in the overlay mode, I'm going to paint just along that, those three tops. And you can see that the, the light gray parts get brighter. And then I'm going to switch to black to get some of the edges of those dark parts of the treetops back because I don't want to drive those to white or gray. I just want those light gray parts. Okay, so again going back between white and black as my color. I make the gray tones white, uh, uh, brighter so that they get white eventually. I paint with white, as you can see, and I make the, the dark tones darker when I paint with black. So I'm just going through over those treetops. You can see that the dark parts are preserved while those light gray parts are brightened. Let me zoom, oops, zoom out just a little bit here. I'm going to use a little bit of a bigger brush here to speed up that process. You can see as I paint across the tree here, all those gaps become brighter while the dark parts remain dark. Now let me just finish that, uh, that mask because the remaining parts are uh, relatively easy to fix. 
you don't need the overlay mode. I'm just making sure that I am creating enough of a, of a gap here. So if you have gray parts left like this, I'm just switching back to normal and increase the flow value to 100%, and then I'm just removing those parts. Now the only thing that's left here is to just uh, get rid of that part. That's, that's easy because you just need to uh, paint with black here. And you have a perfect sky mask and you can now uh, apply any adjustment that applies to the sky only and is uh, hidden from the foreground.